Did you know that independent fundamental Baptist churches are actually modern churches? Uh, the truth of the matter is that none of them go back more than a few hundred years. They'll talk about the old time religion and old Paths Baptist Church and things like this, and they'll try to tell you that, that we do things the old-fashioned way. And what they aren't telling you is that actually this King James Bible here that was translated in 1611 from 1604 to 1611, at the time that this book was written, there was no such thing as an independent fundamental Baptist in the modern sense of the word. In fact, the modern practice of the church building and the Sunday best, the suit and tie for the men and the nice, pretty, expensive dress for the woman and whatever else and things like that, you know, and be there every time the doors are open and all that stuff, most of that doesn't even go back 200 years. In fact, the oldest Baptist church in America was built in 1700. Are they really practicing the old-time religion? They say, well, we're Bible-believing in all matters of faith and practice. They're lying. You look at what they're doing, it's not in the Bible, not in the King James Bible. Where does the Bible, King James Bible say, go to church? It doesn't. Where does the Bible say, wear your Sunday best? It doesn't. Where does the Bible say, there's an altar call, come down to the altar and you know, give your life to Christ or whatever, every head bowed, every eye closed? Where does it say it? They're practicing a modern religion. I actually heard a uh, Baptist, one of these Catholic preachers, I like to call him Catholic because it's Baptist and Catholic combined together, because that's really where their practices come from. A lot of the thing of uh, special adornments and things and special titles for the man that's up front there. I call him a Holy Father or Man of God, your choice. <laughs> but I recently heard one say, that John the Baptist was a Baptist. And it's like, okay, uh, John the Baptist was preaching the gospel of the kingdom, first of all. Where's that in the Pauline epistles? It's not there. But secondly, um, John the Baptist didn't wear a suit and tie. And he didn't go in, and he wasn't in church every time the doors were open and all this other stuff. He didn't have a bus route, you know, nor did he have short hair and a clean shaven face. You know, if John the Baptist from the King James Bible, the way it describes him, if he walked into the average independent fundamental Baptist church, they'd kick him out. It's just incredible. Do not be deceived by the independent fundamental Baptists that are coming down and, and, and yelling and things at you and telling you you need to get your butt in church and things and we're the old time religion. They're a modern church. And again, you know, the big argument will be, well, they didn't do some of this stuff in the, in the Bible because they didn't have the funding and they didn't have the, the freedom and whatever else to worship the way we do now. Okay, so then the church got better over time. God forgot to write it in there about the thing of going to church, building a building, calling it a church and inviting the lost into it. God forgot to write that in there and it's gotten better over time. No, it hasn't. No, it has not. And if you watch my other studies on the whole Baptist movement, and I came out of the Baptist movement, by the way, so don't talk to me like I'm some kind of a charismatic Pentecostal modern Christian or something. I was in the Baptist movement for years. I preached in the pulpits. Every type of Baptist church that's out there, the Hiles type, the Bob Jones University type, the Ruckman type, the whatever, I've been in all of them. Okay? So don't talk to me about it. The Baptist Church is a modern church, and it's very, very dangerous because they take a lot of Roman Catholicism and they put it in and make you think that it lines up with the King James Bible, and it most certainly does not. They are cults, every single last one of them. Even when you get a good guy that's up there and, he's, and he truly loves the Lord and things like that, it's still, there's many, many things about that thing that becomes cultic, very cultic. We need to be people that believe this King James Bible. And I don't mean just believe it and just say, well, I, I, you know, with our speech, live it. Okay? Walk the walk and talk the talk, you know? Yeah, that's what we need to be. So look into it. Watch my independent fundamental Baptist, you know, Catholicism studies, and uh, you'll see the roots of the whole Baptist movement. You'll see the Baptists a few hundred years ago bear nothing in common with modern independent fundamental Baptists. Independent fundamental Baptists of today, 
the suit and tie wearing, the whole thing, pulpit pounding and all that other stuff are totally unscriptural. Run away from those places.